Did you know that Marilyn Lang was almost completely deaf? She didn't let this stop her though and became a famous pin model and actress, starring in some great horror movies such as Hammer's Dracula AD will dive deep into her professional and personal lives in this video, as well as learn about some never-before-seen facts. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking this video consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. A child full of curiosity. Marilyn Lang was born on December 29, 1924. The youngest of four children, she has three older sisters and a brother. ALIC Grosvenor, the estate's managing director, worked as an insurance executive while Joan Grosvenor stayed at home to raise their children. Many people in London and around the world struggled following World War II. There were much more devastating consequences following World War II than there had been in the previous war's wake. Many families, including Marilyn's, struggled to make finances meet while also attempting to live fully. The Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, RADA, was her next stop after Queen Elizabeth's Girls Grammar School in Barnet, England. There, she studied mime under the tutelage of Etienne de Creux before continuing her education at RADA in London, England. Success early in her career. Modeling and acting on television were first Lang's means of instructing young deaf people in the dance movement. Though her first focus was on comedic roles, she soon shifted her focus to dramatic ones. In the British television drama The Queen's Traitor, she played Mary, Queen of Scots for the first time. She once told a reporter from the Northern Echo that she was born in Casablanca, the setting of her favorite Bogart slash Bergman film, because she thought the name Barnett sounded boring. Many guest appearances on television, such as The Saint, Callum, and UFO, preceded Lang's first feature film roles in The Games and Tamlin, both directed by Michael Winner with Roddy McDowell as the lead. She reunited with Winner as Marlon Brando's love interest in 1971's The Nightcomers. To prevent Winner from photographing anything lower than necessary, Brando wore Y fronts and Wellington boots under his bedclothes during the filming of one scene. A brief introduction to the horror genre. At that time, Lang appeared in a large number of horror films, and her role as Jessica Van Helsing opposite Peter Cushing was one of them in Hammer's Dracula AD. For as long as he was alive, Lang was involved in the entertainment industry as an actor and singer. On to the repertory company of Nottingham Playhouse. There she took on several roles such as the lead in Henrik Ibsen's play A Dollhouse as Nora. In 1973, she played Georgina Layton on Thames Television's afternoon show Marked Personal. She also appeared in the Italian film Are There Any More Fools Like Cliff? The following year. As Mafia Junction in the US and Blue Movie Blackmail in UK, the film was initially released in 1977 as a separate entity. Since Joan Collins' The Bitch was a hit, the producers decided to rename their film Super Bitch for home video release in order to profit on that popularity. It was only after 1973's And Now the Screaming Starts that she kept working in horror films like 1975's The House of Mortal Sin, 1976's Schizo and 1981's Inseminoid, all of which she admits to taking for monetary gain. A greater number of notable film roles in the course of her career. From 1981 to 1982, Lang played in the ensemble cast of the BBC series Tenko, which was about a group of female POWs who were taken by the Japanese after their attack on Singapore in 1942. After that, she worked in theatre and television until obtaining the lead role in the 13-part ITV drama series Connie as a result of her work in both mediums prior to now, 1985. Playing the cunning matriarch Sable on the hit ABC family drama, Tenko and Connie served as a springboard to a successful acting career. When Dynasty spin-off The Colby began, it was the top-rated show in the United States for much of 2008. Lang and Charlton Heston are the show's tentpole actors. It was a financial disaster for The Colby, and the show was cancelled after just two seasons. However, Lang returned in 1988 to Dynasty to reprise her role as Sable in a season-long battle of the bitches scenario with Joan Collins. In 1989, Lang was cast as a malevolent governess in the fantasy film The Wolves of Willoughby Chase as a result of the series' cancellation. As a result, she was cast as a nun caring for children at an orphanage in the American sitcom Sister Kate, in which she starred. Her performance earned her a Golden Globe nomination, 
despite the fact that the show ran for only one season before it was cancelled. As a result, when she returned home, she was offered the role of Mrs. Peacock on the ITV game show Cluedo. 1990. While starring in the hit adolescent drama Beverly Hills, 90210 as Dylan's estranged mother Iris Mackay, Lang reconnected with her dynasty co-star Aaron Spelling. Lang appeared in six different Spelling television shows, including Dynasty and its offshoot The Colby, The Love Boat, Beverly Hills, Burke's Law, and Charmed. When Lang came on to play Dr. Kristen Westphalen on Steven Spielberg's T Quest DSV for NBC in 1993, she had just finished filming her pilot. After the first season, Lang, who played a chief oceanographer and medical doctor on the submarine Sea Quest, left the show. While working as a guest performer in the UK and the US during the 1990s, she continued to appear on television as a regular. In 1996, she played the lead role in the 1940s set BBC drama No Bananas. Movies were also a later part of her life. A cameo appearance in the ITV prison series Bad Girls in 2003 marked Lang's return to fame in the UK. Amanda Barry, who portrayed her character Philida Phil Oswin, and she spent four years perfecting their Costa Cons act. She stayed on until the end of the show in 2006, when it was cancelled. For Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, she took on the role of the Wicked Witch and starred in a Guildford production of it in 2006. The next year, she returned to the stage at the same theatre for a rendition of Jack and the Beanstalk. Additionally, in 2006, she starred in the movie Love and Other Disasters as well. She toured as the lead in Noel Coward's play Hay Fever in 2007. On the 14th of October of the same year, she competed in the BBC's Strictly Come Dancing 2007 series with professional partner Vincent Simone, although they were eliminated quite early in the competition, the second of 14 celebrities. On the 17th of February, BBC One aired the final episode of Material Girl, in which Lang Guest starred. On April 3, 2010, she had a cameo appearance in the long-running BBC hospital drama Casualty. She portrayed Maria Callas in the UK tour of Masterclass from 2010 to 2011. A collection of writings about Lang's personal and professional life was released in her autobiography, Many Lives, in October 2011. William Roach, her co-star from Coronation Street, penned the book's foreword. Taking care of the elderly in your golden years. Lang's career has revolved around the Sense National Deafblind and Rubella Association Fill in the Gaps initiative, which aims to help the elderly maintain their standard of living. She also attended the campaign's parliamentary launch in June of that year. Lang discussed her role as Princess Margaret on The Graham Norton Show in September 2016. In October of that year, the Cambridge Arts Theatre presented the world premiere of Richard Sterling's drama A Princess Undone, which was expected to scandalise royal family fans. In February 2021, Lang's agency and novelist Melanie Blake will launch a new British soap show called Falcon Bay. As a result of her birth defect, Lang is only partially hearing in her right ear and completely deaf in her left ear. She became pregnant shortly after her 1973 marriage to actor John McHenry, but the baby died at three months. For a further ten years after their divorce in 1979, Lang and McHenry were still considered married under the law. Lang was diagnosed with skin cancer in 2009 and has now undergone a successful course of therapy. She had a relapse of the illness in 2011, but she is now well again. Are you a fan of horror movies? Do you like Marilyn Lang's biography? How many movies have you wanted to see? Comment below and let us know what you think. Also, don't forget to check out the following clip.